Sam Laporta. I know you're excited to talk about this guy. He's going at 142 on underdog. You kind of slowly pumped his ADP up through drafting season. On sleeper, lagging behind by sort of 17 picks at 159. Do you think the people on sleeper just need to get on board with this and uh, realize that the Lions are desperate for a tight end to be what TJ Hawkinson was and really, you know, Sam Laporte isn't just any kind of rookie. He is a wide receiver turn tight end. Yeah, so this one's very interest- interesting to me because I can see this going either direction. Laporta is a decent wide receiver or receiving tight end prospect. His numbers are all good. He's athletic, all that. The problem with Laporta to me was he's small. And some of these small rookie tight ends are the ones that get the rug pulled. Now his target competition is like completely non-existent. Like we're dealing with basic nobodies out there, but his head coach also happens to be one of the most physical ex tight ends in the whole league and Dan Campbell. So I think the expectations are going to be high of them. Everything seems pretty good on the training camp reports for Sam Laporta. I do think that he's going to get some targets out there. I'm very curious to see if he's going to be a true every down player just because he is definitely on the smaller side. Yeah, so earlier this soft season, I was doing some writing with you guys over at Underdog, and I wrote an article about rookie tight ends. And 87% of rookie tight ends drafted since the year 2000, they failed to average more than 5.9 half PPR points per game. Whereas, like last year, 22 different tight ends exceeded that. So, are you kind of banking on spike weeks for Sam Laporte making him worthwhile in best ball, or do you feel like he's going to be consistent enough to have him redraft? Um, I don't think he's going to be that consistent. I of all of the rookie tight ends, I don't. I haven't really been drafting Laporta. He's gotten steamed early because it was very clear, especially one of their depth tight ends uh, was ruled out for the season. Um, I he was just kind of going well too ahead of the Luke Musgrave types, and I thought the other tight ends actually were better than Sam Laporta when I was watching. Like I think that Michael Mayer is better, Luke Musgrave is better. And Dalton Kincaid's better, but I'm kind of an, on an island here. He was the first tight end to really get steamed up this offseason. Um, and I understand why the playing time is going to be there, but he's just also always just going a couple spots too early for me. Yeah, I, I found Jared Goff a cool click this year as well. Like it just felt like a little too early, and I've probably balanced that out slightly as we've got going. 